What's up guys, Bobby here from Slick Text, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up our pop-up builder. Our pop-up builder allows you to create a mechanism for lead gen on your site, any page, anywhere, any site. Doesn't matter if it's Shopify, WordPress, Weebly, Square, anything that you're using. Why this is important is because when you have traffic coming to a site, you wanna make sure you have a mechanism to grow your SMS marketing list. If you take 100% of all the traffic on your site, and if only three to 5% of that traffic is making it to your checkout page, that means your lead gen isn't gonna be very effective. So that traffic comes in, they leave, and you never talk to them again. That's why pop-ups are so important for your site. I'm going to show you how to build a pop-up that looks something like this. All right, so very beautiful. It minimizes when you don't want it, discreetly hides down in the corner if your visitor doesn't want to use it. The particular one that we're going to set up today is going to trip after they scroll 20% down the page. Now, it's always going to be available, which I think is very important because as your customers are on your site and they become more familiar with your product and the interest level increases, they're going to want to seek out that promo code that you're offering in exchange for their cell phone number. Number. So on your homepage, we're gonna head over to the My Account tab. And the first thing we wanna do in, in this example is make sure that you're integrated with Shopify if that's your website platform, um, or you're gonna make sure you install your slip text tag. Well, what is that? What's a slip text tag? Well, a slip text tag is a snippet of code that you're gonna find in the My Account tab on the left side here. This code is gonna be used on any website that you want the pop-up or any feature related to e-commerce and the slip text platform to show up on your site. This is a single snippet of code that's installed before the closing body tag of your site on each page you want it to show up and you don't ever have to make any changes. Once it's installed, boom, anytime you make a change here, it's pushed automatically. You don't have to reinstall it anywhere. If you do have Shopify, this is already automatically installed on your store. So now let's go over to the marketing tools tab and head over to web pop-ups. And here we're gonna create a new pop-up. So on the create a pop-up page here, you're gonna notice some elements on the side that will allow you to customize and build your pop-up. Okay, you can drag and drop elements here uh, and build one from scratch, but we're not gonna do that. There's a ton of amazing templates. Just click and then customize those elements that are already on there. Um, now, before we select a template, let's go ahead and type in our domain for our homepage. I'm gonna use slicktext.com because um, that's where all our branded colors are. You're gonna notice it loads a preview. Now I'm gonna select my template. I want a modal that pops up. I want it to be center aligned. I wanna do phone and email. And the close behavior, we'll talk about this more, but I want it to be minimized in the corner so that they always have the option to bring it back up again. All right, so now that we have those selected, I'm gonna pick the one on the left, use that as a template, and there it is. But wait, it doesn't really look like my site yet, so we need to customize it. So on the left here, let's go ahead and um, start with the basic options. We'll call this uh, Slick Text Shopify Test. Used on the home page, we're gonna select the text word that I want these contacts to be added to. Then we're gonna go down to design. Remember that um, we already have a template, so we're good here. But if you guys wanna change the template, you can definitely do that as well. We're gonna keep that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap on each one of these elements and we're gonna change it up a little bit. So check this out. What I want you to notice here is that my site preview colors have been pulled in from the domain I entered. Okay, so all my branding colors have been pulled in. I don't need to do any hard work to enter uh, style guide colors or anything like that because we snagged them off the domain you entered, all right? Another thing too is we're gonna pull in your font family on top of that. So you'll notice right below this, you have the option to use your site's font. Now you're not gonna notice that in the preview mode, okay? Because until you save it and install that snippet, uh, or that slip text tag on your site or on your Shopify store and actually go into preview or test mode, you're gonna see our default font. So just remember that, okay? So that font is default. For the background, we're gonna switch this to white. For the button, we're gonna switch it to blue. For the exit intent, no thanks below the call to action button, we'll switch that also to, uh, we'll say a blue. 
The exit button, which is kind of hard to see, will also switch that to a blue. As you guys can see, every element that you select on this will have fully customizable options. Do you wanna make it a little bit taller? Do you wanna make it wider? Go ahead and adjust that. Do you want to change the background color, add a background image? Do you want to um, you know, change the background position? Everything you can think of is available here to play with. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, you even have custom CSS rules, okay? One quick thing to note is that the compliance statement is automatically inserted on your pop-up. You don't have to worry about any of the compliance messaging. It's there automatically. Now that I have the pop-up design, there's also a success state and a minimize state. So let's make sure those are customized too, otherwise this might not look consistent. For the success state, this is a page that we show on the modal after they submit their number. Uh, it doesn't look consistent, so we're gonna change that real quick. All right, now we have the success page customized. Let's go ahead and go back over to pop-up. Yep, looks pretty consistent. Now let's go to the minimize state, okay? This is what it looks like when it's minimized. So we have it down here in the lower left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and make that the same branded color. All right, and now we have all three states customized with our branded colors, and we can see them here, minimized, pop-up, and success. All right, now let's talk about behavior and what that is. The behavior of your pop-up determines when that pop-up's going to come up for the visitor. Uh, it could be after they scroll down 20%, it could be after a certain amount of time, or it could be intentionally clicked by them and doesn't show at all, okay? The one we're gonna do today is after they scroll 20%, we'll present it to them and they have the option to close it, enter, or minimize it to the corner. So for this example, we're gonna do on first page view, okay? And we're gonna do after they scroll um, 20%. So we're simply gonna select that, do 20%. And how much time do we wanna give them to reopen this? I'm just gonna say uh, one day, actually one minute for this example, just so I can redo it over and over again. And that's our behavior. Now let's go on to targeting. And there's a couple things I want to explain here related to targeting. You create one pop-up that could work on a single website on whichever page you want. And there's an easy option to make it show on every page, uh, and I'll show you that here in a second, but you can really do anything you want. If you want it just on the home page, great. If you want it on the home page and the contact page, cool. You can do that and it's super easy. So for targeting, this determines what pages your pop-up will appear on, all right? And you could define the rules. The first rule we want to do is I want it to show up on my entire site. So if we do the slick text uh, test store, Okay, if I save it like this, if it contains this domain here without any extensions, it's gonna show up on every single page of my Shopify store. All right, maybe you want that, I don't know. Um, you can also make it very specific just on the home page if it matches it exactly. Or you can say contains this and then add another rule um, that may also contain like uh, that domain with maybe a product page. So you specify which location you want the pop-up, okay? You're gonna know best when the pop-up comes up, where to place it, and what action it does after they close it out. So we're just gonna do on the home page. We're not gonna add any hide rules, but just so you guys know, you could also um, do hide rules if it includes certain uh, you know, extensions like a contact or something of that nature. Now let's go down to the date targeting. This is kind of interesting. This gives you the ability to show a pop-up uh, on a certain date and beyond or in between certain dates. So think about what you could do with this. You're having a huge sale this weekend. Let's create a pop-up that's only gonna show for the weekend or only gonna show for Christmas week. Um, things of that nature. Now, personally, I can't see why we wouldn't want to pop up 24-7, 365 days, right? We have traffic coming to the site. We want a mechanism to grow our SMS marketing list. Otherwise, you're relying just on that checkout to capture their information. And then that percentage goes even further as far as how many people you're going to capture. You know, it goes down further uh, to 30 to 40%, even less than that, okay, you might argue. So uh, I'm going to make this pop-up start today. 
we're gonna say the 27th at 12 a.m. Okay, we'll say p.m. Um, it's one o'clock now, so as soon as I hit save and active status, this will be ready to roll. Okay, so I have my show rules for date targeting. I'm not gonna do any hide, but if you did have a hide rule, that would be the example for starting Friday to Monday. If you wanna do like a weekend sale, we could pop up builder and give people special offers during that time. So now, um, Let's go down to device targeting because it's very important to know that you can make this pop up not only show on any page you want, but you can turn it off for certain devices. So I want it to show on desktop. Maybe I don't want to have it show on tablet. Um, as a reminder, you can also see what that looks like in the lower right hand corner if you want to preview those devices. Okay, so let's go over to device targeting. So we have that set. Now let's talk about messaging here. Messaging is pretty simple. It's just the double opt-in message that they receive on their phone to reply yes to that satisfies e-signature requirements for consent. Okay, I like to customize it, so I'm just gonna add something real quick here. All right, we have our double opt-in message, and now we're done. Now that we have the design created for the pop-up, let's create it and then test it and preview it on the site before we push it live. Tap the create pop-up icon, and you're gonna notice here that your pop-up is created, but it's inactive. Now listen guys, if you have one of our integrations set up, this will automatically be installed. In this example, we're using Shopify, okay? So you don't have to install the slick text tag, code snippet, it's already done for you. Let's go to view my pop-ups. And on the right side here, we created this one at the top. So now let's preview the pop-up. And we're gonna pop in our domain here and we're gonna preview it. First, it's gonna to check to see if that code snippet is installed. It is, then it's gonna open a window for us and it's going to allow us to preview it. Now, it didn't pop up after 20% because we're in preview mode. Um, it just immediately pops up so we can go through the motion. So we can see here, it has my site in the background. It has the pop-up. I minimize it, it goes down in the corner. I can tap out of here. Um, it's ready to go, okay? So we're good. That's all there is to the preview. Now, if you wanna test it and go through the motions, that's a little bit different. We can test it here, and this will actually send a text message, and it has to be active. That's the one key thing. So before we test it, we're gonna go back into it, edit it, and we're gonna switch this to active status and save. Now that it's saved, we can go ahead and test this pop-up. Okay, so that's uh, the wrong domain. We're gonna pop this one in. I use two different domains, one to pull in the branding and then one to actually install it on, okay? So this is my, my test Shopify store. We're gonna scroll 20%. There it is. I don't wanna fill that out. I wanna keep shopping. So after I gain some interest, you'll notice that, um, hey, maybe I do want those leather shoes and wait a second, I do want 20% off. We'll go ahead and punch in our information. Tap join now. There's our success message. On our phone, I've received the confirmation text. I'll reply yes. There's my promo code and I'm ready to check out. Now I can close this and I've completed the entry into pop-up. And inside my slip text account, you'll notice my number has been subscribed to the Jot list. And that's it guys, that's how you create a pop-up with slip text. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at slittext.com. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.